Why don't we stay in Toronto here, Teddy? Hey, look, we can we can stay over, you know, an extra two nights here. Let's cheat on this weekend since we don't have a live show tomorrow. Let's get into it tonight. Watch what you bet on sportsbookreview.com's That Betting Show. Game six in Jurassic Park. The Raptors, how about this, Teddy? Rising was two, a little bit around on SBRodds.com, minus two this morning. Now shifting to two and a half, total of 213. Money line split plus 120, minus 140. 8.30 tomorrow night. We know the statistics. Raptors 47 to 50 against the number in the season. The Bucks 57 to 36. But hey, First two games of the game, first two games of this conference finals, easiness for the Bucks. The next three games, the Raptors took control, looking to close it out. Teddy, I'm excited for the game tomorrow night. Let's see if Kawhi steps up. I mean, how many games in the 30s can he get in one playoff run? Giannis has to show that he's the MVP of the NBA in order to shift this game back to Game Seven. What's going to take place tomorrow night, Teddy, in Toronto? Well, when we talk about what happened in Game Five, the two superstars, Giannis and Kawhi, Kawhi had the better game. The role players, particularly Van Vliet, you know, Van Vliet stepped up in a way that no one for Milwaukee did. That was the difference in the game. The Milwaukee uh, the Raptors are the better superstar, and the Raptors are the better role player, and that was the difference. So let's look at some quotes, because that's what we have on a Friday morning talking about tomorrow's game, is a whole bunch of quotes from last night's game. Giannis, we're not going to fold. We're the best team in the league we're going to go in, give it everything we got. We can't fold. We're going to come back Milwaukee being pissed. That's a bet on quote. Nick Nurse, interesting quote, uh, talking about allowing what, what, what his team did to respond to that 2 nothing deficit. Quote, this isn't the sexy answer, but from the first day of training camp, we've been saying we're going to stay level. A shitty preseason game is just going to get written off. A great win at Golden State, same thing. A terrible game in San Antonio, let's bounce back. And we've done it all year. We've kept it even keeled. Kawhi has helped that. Kyle has been so much less emotional and a great leader. Marcus Sol, even Serge Ibaka, these older guys. When things have gone shitty, it's not questioning, guys. It's let's figure it out. I think it was the same today. Kawhi Leonard, who's been a monster. You know, we're talking about a guy who has an NBA Finals MVP on his resume. All right. You know, a buzzer beating win, a buzzer beater to win game seven. Uh, quote, I'm not afraid of the moment. This is what I work out for in the summer. I'm just trying to win. It's a matter of me being aggressive and don't shy away from anything. Now, Leonard was supposedly banged up, leg soreness. Didn't look like he had a whole lot of leg soreness uh, last night, uh, hitting the 30-point mark for the fourth time in the series. Also, a playoff career high with nine assists in that ball game. And look, you know, one last quote, you know, Budenholzer. It's first to four. We got to go to Toronto and get a game. I think the group will be ready. I wouldn't be shocked if Milwaukee wins this series, and I wouldn't be shocked if Toronto closes them out tomorrow night. This is one I'm going to sleep on <laughs> before I get involved with. Uh, you know, sometimes you got a strong opinion right away about a game six. It's an interesting matchup. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bucs beat them. But at the same time, no question, Toronto's been the better team in each of the last few games. Nah, I hear you on that one for sure. Atlanta, Teddy, fresh off an extra innings win in San Francisco. Going to get some travel. But how about this line here? Miles Michael is in the Cardinals' favor by 155 in this game with a total of 10. So we're expecting some runs. And why not? Well, Tanavis was a very good pitcher last year, Teddy. Seemingly can't get out of his own way this year at 5.81. XFIP with a 357 expected weighted on base average. So we are going to look at some runs. Braves come in 28 and 23 for the season, getting fat off of those San Francisco Giants over the past couple of games. 14 and 11 on the road. The Cardinals 25 and 24, disappointing on the season, but 15 and 10 at home. Michael is first fault to Navich here in St. Louis. Yeah, you don't love the fact that Atlanta on getaway day was forced to play extra innings in San Francisco and then travel afterwards. Um, that's definitely not in favor of the Braves in this game. You talk about Fulton Awitz. I mean, uh, Cardinals faced him last week. Eight runs, seven hits, three walks, and four and two-thirds. I'm telling you, he was pretty ugly <laughs> uh, in that ball game. Braves manager Brian Snitker, quote, if we get Fulton back to where he was, that's just going to make our club better. He's shown he can do it from the last start to this start. He's been through a whole lot. They did a lot of work. And uh, it's a good outing to build on. Fulton Awitz, there's still a lot of work to be done. I feel like we just broke up a pretty good outing with the mechanics. Just cleaning that up I made all my pitches a little cleaner. He pitched better against the Brewers. Uh, all that being said, you know, Nicholas has lost his, lost his last couple of starts. Uh, ripped in his last outing against Texas. What, seven runs and one and a third? Quote, I think I was pulling off a little bit. Stuff that was supposed to be going away. I was yanking it middle. Stuff that was supposed to be in. I was yanking it off the plate. Just not a good 
game. No surprise here that this game's seen over money come in. Two starters that have potential, but both. The current form makes me think against these lineups, we could see runs in bunches once again tonight. We saw the Braves, as we say, get fat off of the San Francisco Giants. Let's see if the uh, D-backs can actually get back in the fold. I mean, it's certainly on a losing streak right now, but Robbie Ray is going to take the mound here versus Pomerantz. Giants again, Teddy. We've seen this a lot over the past couple days and even over the past couple weeks. The Giants at home taking on money, now sitting at a plus-110 total of seven. Going to take place tonight in Oracle Park. That's San Francisco, California. The Diamondbacks 25-25 and 25 on the season, 14-12 and 12 away. The Giants are 21-28 and 28 on the season, 10-15 and 15 at home. See what happens tonight out there on the West Coast. Yeah, some of the money's coming because Ray's pitching on short rest. Or he's pitching a day ahead of schedule as Arizona's adjusting their rotation. You know, he's been one of the hottest pitchers in baseball. Uh, you know, they haven't lost in any – or he hasn't taken a loss in any of his last eight starts. Um, you know, 3-1, 3.25 ERA. He's dominated this Giants team. And, of course, Pomerantz pretty much in the opposite current form. You know, 12 runs in just 10 and a third innings over his last – Three starts combined, but Pomerantz pitched well in Arizona last week, and Ray didn't last all that long in that ball game. All that being said, Pomerantz does not have a good track record against the D-backs, although some of that was Paul Goldschmidt D-backs. Uh, we had a real bad track record, record against him. You know, they're betting San Fran. I'm not betting San Fran, not with my money, but this isn't a great spot for Arizona in my mind. They've lost five in a row, not playing good ball, and they have their ace pitching uh, day short, easy pass for me.